Morning. Good morning. I have some good news for you. Uh, what is that? Well, I was up late uh, doing some, uh, and happy Friday, by the way. This is airing on Friday. We have a lot of content today on, on the show today before you. We have my friend Vinny Bucci on the show. We have Melissa Rose from Atlanta, Dylan Schneider, Evan Zadarilis, my son River. We had um, Stacy Lewis from Houston. Um, so give a shout out to Houston. Houston's listening to you this morning, you know. Um, yeah. And my friend Michelle Murata, who's an actress out in California, I told her about you. Uh-huh. Because she has a podcast. Studio City, right. and she is willing to interview you too. All right, that's what's up. So I'm gonna give um, Rika um, her number and her information. I'll give um, Michelle, you know, her and your information too. You know, so um, yeah, yeah. Michelle probably will reach out to you, and but she's busy too. She, she she's an actress, and she's friends. She she, she is friends. With some great people in in Hollywood, and she, she's not an A lister, but she has a good podcast. I was on it. I was on her podcast. I hear her podcast on my network too, um, and she's just a wonderful lady. She's in her sixties, you know, and yeah. and uh, she is willing to interview you too. So another pro, right. another platform. So what's going on on this fine Friday, my friend Eric from uh, the uh, the maximum security prison in Cranston, Rhode Island? What's going on today? Well, what's going on today? I'm just, you know, my my attorney came up here last night. We had a good conference, you know, um, getting geared up for, you know, I know this show is taping a couple of days afterwards, but we're getting geared up for Wednesday, 2 p.m. Yeah. You know, I will, I will hope I will be seeing you there. Yeah. You know, um, we're going to be, uh, you know, we're, we're just going over some strategy. Hopefully everything is looking good, you know, so... I'm keeping my fingers crossed, but that's it. And today, you know, I was talking about, uh, I wanted to, I'm trying to start a magazine with a guy right now. Uh, you know, we're trying to, you know, we're trying to get into distributing our own personalized magazines in here. And I'm going to write a little, I'm going to write an article in there about prison, you know, about, you know, about not just the prison, but about the criminal justice system to inform those that, that the readers in here, because it's going to be targeted towards selling it towards the prisoners. So, you know, we're just going over some business plans. I was just having Rika, uh, you know, do some uh, research uh, on on distributors and stuff like that. So, you know, just trying to do something positive, you know, always trying to expand my uh, my my knowledge on certain things and try to do some positive things that I could, you know, maybe, you know, maybe get involved in that's going to, you know, help me financially in the future. That's cool. Magazine. I'm telling you, you know, um, 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 you, you know, I, I can see you, you know, once you once you get out and, and, and evolve your life, it's, it's the big word evolve, you know, and I yeah. think that you're going to be big mogul in the media community and <laughs> the media business, you know, um, um, between you and me. I mean, I, I mean, if Vinny Bucci down south, he has the Bucci cast for many years, you know, you, you got to do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing, yep. become the next, you know, uh, um, I, I, I always you know, compare myself to Ryan Seacrest and Ted Turner. Because Ted Turner, um, 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 who started CNN, you know, and, and owns and own TBS, I have a lot of different online platforms. And plus, but I also venture, like Ted Turner never kept his eggs in one basket. He, he, owned, he owned the Atlanta, Atlanta Braves, too, you know. And, and, oh, really? Yeah, so I've heard of Ted Turner. Yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, and then, and then of course, he, his ex wife is Jane Fonda. So, you know, um, so, so the thing is, it, 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 out of Atlanta, you know, you, you know, Turner, Turner Broadcasting, you know, so, yep. so, so, uh, you know, TBS stands for Turner Broadcasting Systems, you know, so, you know, he had, had, had a different, you know, a lot of platforms. I can tell you, you're going to have your own platforms. You're going to, you, 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 you you have so much in you, uh, Eric. Just like me and my friend Vinny Bucci, you know, and and and, yeah. and I, I can tell you have great things coming, Eric. You know. Well, I really appreciate. You know, I I, I really appreciate it. I tried to. I'm trying to. Uh, you know, I'm just 
give them some positive things, you know, and any way I can give back, you know, to, to, to those, that's what I want to do, you know, as long as, as long as I'm put in a position to give back, I'll be happy with that, and I'm put in a position that I can, you know, pay it forward, I'll, I'll be willing, you know, I'll, I'll be really grateful, because that's what, that's what it means for me, you know, it means about giving back and doing things like that, and just being on a positive track and try to get my life, you know, make some retribution for some of the things, you know, some of my past and stuff like that, but we don't look behind us, we look forward, you know, so that's what I want to do, I want to look forward to doing some better things in the future, and just, you know, helping those out, and, and to like, giving a voice to those that don't have a voice, and that's what it's about, because that's what you're put on this earth for, I believe, you know, I love humanity, Yep. I'm the type of person that, yeah, I love humanity, I, I have a soft spot for, you know, those that don't, you know, those that really don't have, and those that, you know, I've, it's just in my DNA. One of my friends was reading my uh, my horoscope, right? And if you read my horoscope, he was reading it to me from this from this book he has, and it, and it blew my mind. But I've always been a fighter. You know, it's in my DNA to be a fighter for the people, a fighter for those that don't have a voice, and also a fighter for, you know, for change. So sure. I, that's what I want to do. And for the better, good change, not negative change, you know? So, and I'm glad you say pay it forward because um, I was just talking to my, um, my my friend from Houston before I, I, you came on the show about a half hour ago. We were talking about pay it forward because she was at McDonald's in in Houston, Texas area, and she was saying uh, she was saying I, I said to her I said you should pay it forward, but it was too late, you, you know, by the time she had her food. So 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 after this, when I close up the show, I I need to get a cup of coffee because I I, I was up late. And I, you know, up early this morning, so I think I'm gonna pay a forward and, and, and record myself at the end of the show. See, see what the chain reactions like when I pay a forward at McDonald's up the street. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah, that's, but that's what it's that's what it's about. You know what I mean? It's paying it forward and 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 being able to bless the next person. That's how I always believe in getting your blessings. Yeah. You know, no matter what I did out there on the street. Whether, you know, I was I was committing crime and stuff like that when I was younger, you know, getting involved in the street. But I always, like I said, I always paid it for, I always gave back. If I seen somebody out there on the streets begging for money, you know, didn't have it, or, or somebody paying, I give them about 30 or 40 bucks. And the people that are with me in the car or someone, they're crazy. Why would you do that? I said, because that's how you get your blessings. You know what I mean? Like, you, you, you know, you always help somebody else out that's in the position to, you know, that's in a less of a position than you. You know, it's about lifting your human, your your, your, your fellow man or your fellow woman up. And that's what it, I think that's what, you know, loving the human race is about. That's what, we need more of that because we don't have that nowadays. There's a lot of hate out there. There's a lot of division. There's a lot of, you know, people, if you don't agree with somebody, they don't like you because you don't see things their way. And it's just like, at the end of the day, we need more love out there. You know what I mean? You know, we need more positive uh, energy. I'm glad you said that you you know like you know like this the the segment we had with my friends we were talking about Chris Rock and Will Smith all of us came together on one on one on one segment you know it was about me my friend Dylan my friend Evans Melissa Rose Vinny Bucci but we all have we all don't agree sometimes on the same issue but that one that's what makes friendship goes around and debates debates uh, about different stuff you know like me and Vinny Bucci we we bumped heads throughout the years on on different things, but at the end of the day, a true man can shake hands after a debate. You know what I'm saying? A true, yeah, a true man. Yeah, and, and, and on radio and everything is the place where you can have friendly arguments. You know what I'm saying? You can have you can have um, um, friendly arguments, and you can have. Um, um, I mean, I wanted to say arguments, but. But friendly debates, you know, friendly um, different points of view. That's what radio is all about. And 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 but I think that's yeah. fruitful. Yeah, it, it's fruitful. It, it is fruitful. And, and you, you know, I never liked. I really never liked um, Rush Lumber, but but I can respect his his work ethic. You know, because <laughs> because he he was a radio DJ, and he was on TV. Okay, and yep. and 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 and. Even even um, my friend Vinny Bucci, he's on my show. I'm on his show, but we, me and him have. I mean, I have a um, a uh, what do you call it? A hater on his show, 
who 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 kind of like we, we me and him don't like each other, but but I respect his work ethic and he shouts me out all the time. If he shouts me out all the time, the one who hates me from the Boochcast show, okay? How come he shouts me out behind the scenes? You know, if he really if he really hated me, but I'm not supposed to announce his name because you know, but 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 I, I could, but 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 like he. One time, this is a true story. Like like two years ago, I was in Atlanta visiting Vinny Bucci. You know, I was in the hotel room with my friend Vinny, and and then Vinny gets a call from this guy who calls him a lot too. He says, uh, um um um, he, and he said my name out of the blue. He didn't even know I was in the room with Vinny Bucci. Like, if you, this guy supposed to hate me so much, why is he shouting my name out? I'm telling you. Okay, I had to do a Diana Ross song recently because. Um, 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 this guy was cracking on Diana Ross and Vinny Bucci and, and this guy says, and, and Vinny says, if you crack him one, one more time, I'm going to have Derek sing the song and they talk about me behind my back, especially the hater. <laughs> so the thing is, if someone loves you so much, the haters are really lovers, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Hey, you, know, you know, but that's good though. That's good jive and fun, you know what I mean? Like yeah. at the end of the day, it's like, you know, it's like you're not. You don't have the. It's not like you're, 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 you know, you're ready to go at each other and take each other out. Oh, he will. He will. This guy from Virginia. This guy from Virginia. I think if he saw me, he will. But anyway, that's besides the point. But, <laughs> but, but. Well, you know what? It's a, it's a disagreement. A disagreement amongst amongst colleagues or amongst amongst uh, uh, your fellow person could also grow fruitful. It also could, it, 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 it creates evolvement. It creates, well, if you're listening, if you're willing to listen, it allows you to evolve, right? Because if I'm like, listen, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a conservative. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a hardcore Democrat. I'm an independent because I, I like shoes. I take things from both sides. I'm more, I lean more to the left than I lean to the right. But I could, I like both things from both sides that I that I agree with. But now then you have these, you have some people that I have disagreements in here that you know even me and Rika, her politics are a little bit different than mine. You know she likes Trump, she likes some of Trump's politics, and I don't, I don't like so many of his politics. But it's just it's 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 everybody has. But that's my wife. I love her. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like, you know, that, yeah, I love her. That doesn't mean that we're going to, yeah. you know, we disagree to this, we agree to disagree on certain things. There's certain things she liked about him, and there's certain things that I didn't like. And, you know, so it's just like, but at the end of the day, it allowed me to see her point of view, and I can respect it. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? The only I'm thing not, I can't respect is two different people liking the Red Sox and the Yankees, but that's a different point now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> but, but but you know that's what makes the world go around. You know that's what makes the world go around. You know different opinions, different sports things going on in the, in, in, the, in the world, and 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 I mean, I mean division is unity backwards. You know, but you know, seriously, you got to have division. But you get, but 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 when when things come across like the Boston bombing, right? The Red Sox people. I mean, I mean, I mean the New York Yankees cheered for us after we came back together after the Boston bombing, you know? And, 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 and I remember after the Boston bombing, I interviewed, I interviewed somebody who was involved in the Boston bombing, um, someone um, that was helping the victims, um, um, Carlos Adorando. Uh, oh my God. It was, it was one of my um, most serious interviews I did, you know, after the Boston bombing, you know? Um, yeah, um, yeah. But, uh, you know, I had, I had a purpose to interview him, Back in the day, but you know, like people come together, especially if it's tragic, different cities, and, and and the sports teams sometimes come together just for that. Then they go back to the rivals. You know what I'm saying? I I I, I like that. You know, um, um, about that. You know, in 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 the human race. You know. Yeah, no, it, 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 it's, it's, it's like I said, it's good for the soul if you're willing to listen, if you're willing to evolve, and it always allows you to hear a different point of view on some things, and allows you to, you know place yourself in other people's shoes and how you think. You know, that's what we're that's what that's why we all have different makeups and different DNAs and uh, and that's what makes us human. You know, I one guy I do have to say has a most one of the most positive attitudes that I just love the guy I love the way his attitude is it look towards life is is that DJ Khalid, right? His okay. attitude 
is like, have, have you ever? I, I'm pretty sure you probably ran across him in your dealings, or you know of him. Oh, of course. I mean, I mean, I I never met him. I want to interview DJ Khaled, uh, um, um, because of course, you know, he has a song with Justin Bieber and 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 Quavo and everything like that. And DJ Khaled was doing his thing. He, uh, because he was on the grind because um um because he has he has i think a a, a little boy I, I i don't know how old he is now probably like three or four now you know but he was grinding for his son you know yeah 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 oh so you did so you did it you have you have you interviewed him no 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 i never met him i never interviewed oh. him but, but i love his music i respect his i respect his ways yeah, you know his, i mean i mean his vibe his vibe man he got that brother, man, he's got like the most positive vibe, and you know those, those are people like I like that because those are people that you want to be around. You know, like you can just feel it. Like I watched him on the Jennifer Hudson show, like probably like last week sometime. And, oh sure. You know his, his his energy is just like you know that's the type of people I like to be around. I like that type of energy because he just he's just a positive brother. There's nothing you you can't dislike the brother. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. so, shout out to DJ Khaled. You get what I'm saying as far as his his. His his uh, uh 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 um his vibes and the way he moves, he grinds and he brings people together. You know what I mean? So I like that. You know, like that you know who I like? I, I interviewed this guy in Atlanta. Um um, this guy I I I actually interviewed as he was getting in, in his SUV, right? And 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 yeah. I I kind of stopped him at his tracks. I I had a, a like a two minute, one minute to two minute interview with Convict Akon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my African brother. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God, Akon it was so awesome, you know. And then of course, Wyclef John, back in the day, um, um, in in Atlanta area, um, he came down from from New York, and I remember I asked him, Wyclef, can you can you give a shout out to my show? I said, did you cut my new CD? I said, no. I said, I can't give a shout out. Then he was said, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> I, I, I'll give a, I'll give a shout out. Wyclef John has a good sense of humor, you know. Um, um, yeah, yeah. Um, you know. And, and and of course, uh, um, um, when I interviewed the late PMB Rock, uh, um, he he gave a shout out to my daughter in, in, when he came up to Salem, Massachusetts. You know, um, uh, they're calling they're, they're calling us in. All right, well, I would like to call it to, try to call it to, uh, continue the conversation. Everybody out there, have a blessed blessed day. You know, um, Eric, I appreciate it. I'll no give problem. you a call. And, okay. uh, you know, we'll do this again. Thank All right. You. Thank, Thank you. you for having me on this morning. Happy Friday. D Shop in the morning. More to come. Entertainment news is next. More D Shop in the morning on this fine Friday. Stay tuned.